And back to the news, at least two people died during Madagascar's National Day celebrations in the capital, Antananarivo, after a grenade explosion and about 80 people were wounded in the blast at the Mahamasina Stadium where military parade was held earlier. President Heri Rajao Nari Mampianina put the blame on political divergences after calling the attack a terrorist attack. It was not immediately clear who or what was behind the explosion. Mr. Rajaoni Rampanina's election as president in 2013 brought fresh hope following years of political instability in Madagascar. But just 18 months into his presidency, the country's National Assembly voted to impeach him for failing to deliver on his election pledges. In 2014, a grenade explosion killed a toddler and injured several other people outside the same stadium. No arrests were made in connection with the attacks and there was no claim of responsibility. Now, German Chancellor Angela Merkel and French President Francois Hollande in, said they are in full agreement on how to handle the fallout from the UK's decision to leave the European Union. Talks will hold today in Berlin between both of them in a flurry of diplomatic activity in the wake of a so-called Brexit. Mr. Holland said the UK was ready to face the future from a position of strength, although he accepted the economy would have to confront challenges and that further volatility on financial markets are likely to be faced. Speaking on Sunday, Mr. Holland said there was no going back on the UK's decision. Chancellor Merkel is to host President Holland, Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi, and European Council President Donald Tusk today. Her priority is to get Britain out smoothly as soon as is practical and to safeguard the future of the European Union. U.S. President Barack Obama has already said that the special relationship between the U.S. and the U.K. would endure despite Britain's decision.